But first I'd like to just say one thing to you. One of the flaws that's built into the concept of serving as a synagogue president, which is not entirely different from being a star in the NBA or being a first-rate musician, is that the best you, better you get at it, the easier it looks. Uh, and it gets to a point where you are so good at it that it appears that you don't do anything at all. Uh, you watch these guys in the NBA and they just doesn't seem hard. You just bounce the ball a bit and throw it through the little circle in the sky. You watch a great pianist and it doesn't seem hard at all. This guy just sits down there and makes music. And the same is true of being a synagogue president. When you are good at it, when you are really good at it, when you have your finger on the pulse of the community, when you are tied to thousands of different issues at once, when you have, are in contact with the people who are, who are pivotal in the performance of all of the, in the carrying out of all of these initiatives at the same time, it looks to the community as though it's easy, as though there's nothing to it. You come to shul and everything seems to be great. The, the, the building is spotless. The staff seems to know exactly what to do. You, you go to a board meeting and the agenda is set. Everybody seems to know what's expected of him or of her. You come to the, uh, an activity that the synagogue has planned and it all seems to be perfect. Everything is in place, all the supplies are there, the staff is ready, the, the music is set. It's, it seems as though there must have been nothing at all to this. It just, it just was not easy. But it's not easy. It's incredibly difficult. The better you are at it, the easier it looks. That really is true. But that isn't actually an illusion. To be a good synagogue president means to be able to, to multitask in a way that most of us can't even imagine doing, to have your eye on a, on a hundred things at once, to, to keep so many different projects moving along at a reasonable pace that you yourself can't really even describe how you're doing it, except that somehow, one after another, they all get to be done. And that really, as we all know, and certainly as I personally know, that's the kind of president Deborah was. The better she got, the simpler it looked, the easier it looked. So I suppose my, my message to all of you today is to invite you to step aside from that illusion and to understand that this was not, for, this was not a simple task at all, that Deborah's years were fraught with, with complicated things. Uh, Barbara mentioned the, the Homeland Security grant as though we just sort of opened up the mail one day and there it was, all those tens of thousands of dollars for us to invest in our, in our physical plant to make it more safe and more secure. But that's not at all how it happened. There was a complicated, long, difficult process of millions of pieces of paper and forms and online forms and not online forms and contacts and phone calls. This, was, this alone could have been a full-time job for somebody who was, uh, who was in place to, to undertake. But Deborah did it in her spare time while she was running everything else, while she was, and also while she was working herself in the real world out there, outside of Shelter Rock, and serving her family and doing so many other things that she was good at. So I invite you this evening to celebrate Deborah's accomplishments, not merely by looking around and seeing how easy it looks, but by stepping away and realizing how, how that is just the sign of, of consummate talent in leadership. The better you are, the easier it looks. And so I would like to, I have a gift now that I'd like to give Deborah, which I believe will represent this idea, I hope, uh, in an appropriate way. So Deborah, would you come forward? This is a. It's a big present. It's a big box. It's a big box. As, as you, you, everyone knows what a mezuzah is. A mezuzah is a, is a little box that you put on the door of your house that symbolizes it is a Jewish house, and inside the the uh, casing is a parchment that has uh, a sampling of the values of our people. So anyone who enters that house knows that this is a house that is dedicated to those values, and the little sign on the door uh, represents that. So this is not exactly what we would call a kosher mezuzah, but it's a kind of shelter rock mezuzah, Deborah. It was made specifically for you, and it says the following things. First, above, on the top, in the middle section, it has a prayer. Let me stand by the mic. It says, may this home be a place of happiness and health, creativity and kindness. May all who visit and live here know only blessing and peace. Shalom. And uh, we are going to give this to Deborah. With the following inscription, it says to Deborah Hoffman, with grateful appreciation for helping to make Shelter Rock Jewish Center our spiritual home. You know, all of us, not all of us are synagogue presidents, but uh, almost everybody here is, uh, belongs to, uh, lives in a house with a family. 
uh, those of you who are parents, which is I'm sure almost all of you, know that raising a family is uh, it's in the same category. When you do it really well, it looks easy, but it's not easy. It's endless, endless amounts of work. And that mezuzah on the door that symbolizes the values to which you ascribe when you devote yourself to making that family work, that is, that is the entrance for others. So, Deborah, I'd like to give this to you. Uh, it will be, a, I hope, a, a, uh, something that will have pride of place in your home and that will remind you that, that in a sense, it was you who, who wrote the mezuzah for this, for this synagogue. It was you who set the values that we follow and who set the tone that, we, uh, that, that guides all of us forward and will guide all of us forward for Thank many, you. many, many years. It's gorgeous. Thank you so, so much. Thank I, you. Mazel tov to you, Thank and uh, I hope that you go from strength to strength, Thank and that, so that this is only the beginning of your, of your service to our congregation and to the Jewish people. Thank you so much.